Indonesian police say they have regained control of the situation in West Papua province after protesters torched a local town hall and set fire to tires. They were protesting the recent detention of 43 Papuan students who had been accused of throwing an Indonesian flag into a sewer. Chani Vatvani tells us more. Lots to unpack from the various unfolding situations in Papua throughout the day. In Manokwari, rioters have reportedly dispersed and the situation on the ground is set to be conducive. Now, the masses dispersed after negotiations were held with top officials where they reportedly demanded security guarantees for Papuan students in Java. And they also demanded an apology related to official statements allegedly made about Papuan students. Meanwhile, in Jayapura, the capital of the province, thousands of people took to the streets in a long march to the governor's office. They were received by Papua Governor Lucas Enembe and the people reportedly made a number of demands including asking the president and the national police chief to take action against officers involved in racist conduct. Now these events have been sparked by two incidents that took place in Malang and Surabaya both in East Java. In the first incident the deputy mayor of Malang reportedly threatened to repay Patriate Papuan students after a demonstration uh, by the Papuan Student Alliance and the Indonesian People's Front for West Papua last week. Now, the second incident involved an alleged desecration of the Indonesian flag in Surabaya, which saw at least 43 Papuan students arrested and released after questioning around midnight on Saturday. Now, the students were allegedly subjected to racist words by the East Java people, the police, and military, along with discriminatory slogans which made them angry according to the Papua governor and following this backlash and series of protests East Java governor Kofifa Indar Parawansa has called Mr. Lucas to apologize saying that what happened is not a representative of the voice of East Java and mayor of Malang has also issued an apology emphasizing that there is no repatriation policy at the administration finally chief security minister Wiranto in a press statement earlier expressed the government's regret over these incidents and said that instructions had been issued to conduct a thorough investigation in a fair manner toward anyone deemed to have committed an offense against the law in the matter. Um, National Police Chief Tito Karnavian has requested that the community remain calm. He's also urged Indonesians to respect one another. The Home Affairs Ministry, meanwhile, has asked the Manokwari regional government to correct allegedly inaccurate information and fake news which has been circulating and is believed to have functioned as a trigger for the demonstrations. There are also plans for the Ministry of Home Affairs together with the three governors from Papua, West Papua and East Java to sit together to form a team related to the events of the persecution and racism against Papuan students in East Java. But no definitive date for this meeting has been set up yet. As the minister, the minister said that the governors must calm the situations in their respective territories first. Meanwhile, security forces are standing by in various other parts of Papua in anticipation of other mass rallies that might crop up.